seminar. It's a pre-seminar discussion. So, after the inception of uh, IESA, which is, IESA is now 18 months old. We had started in a December of 2014 with a meeting at the German house, and so it is 18 months old. Uh, so far, we have done 11 seminars, including the design seminar, if I count the design seminar, which we did in part of the India Expo Shop. Uh, this will be the 12th seminar that we are doing. Eight on management, uh, one or two on fire and safety, one small one we did on emailing, uh, and the large one on design, which was a full day seminar. So this will be the 12th, 12th se uh, seminar we are conducting in the span of one and a half years. I think that's a good record. We have been hearing about GST for such a long time. Maybe we have been waiting for it for five to six years. Um, now it has become a law. Two days back, it became a law. I happened to uh, watch something on the CN CNBC a TV few days back, two, three days back, where finance secretary and uh, chief economic advisor, everybody was uh, addressing a uh, last number of interest list. So one of the people asked, Will you be ready for rollout in, on April 1st? You are saying that states will pass, we, it will become a law, etc. Will you be ready to the government? So I think finance secretary replied, we'll be ready, but will you be ready? Which means that there is a lot of things that industry has to do to accept GST. So we thought that uh, we don't know the impact of GST, what is going to happen that. We have been reading a lot of it. We have been exchanging PDF documents of the complete. I got a huge document from uh, Sunil Butter from Bombay in, in the group only. I read some of it. But we thought that we need an uh, expert speaker who will come and tell us you know, what, what GST is going to be about, what's the advantage that we can get, what are the new things that we'll be facing. Whenever a new law comes, it comes very nice in economic times, front page. And then later on they publish, which is 500 pages, which we never read, and the fine prints come later. And the devil lies in the fine prints. So we thought that we should have a uh, seminar on this one for us to understand. And also is there time to tell the government that, okay, this does not suit us, this will create a lot of problems for small entrepreneurs. So can you do something about it? I don't know whether there is time for it. We'll ask him. That's why we decided to go for this uh, GST seminar. There were questions. Should we do it now? Should we do it later? And we thought that this is the right time to do it after checking with everybody. And uh, our, our, and sir, uh, our association is a small association. We have got uh, 80 members. Today we have got uh, 41 people attending this uh, seminar, uh, who are, it's a, it's a paid seminar. The rest of the people are in Bombay, in Bangalore, in Chennai, in Ranji, etc. They could not come. Maybe we'll do one more seminar in Bombay if uh, everybody agrees in uh, this thing. We may do one thing in Bombay also. Uh, so, you know, our concern is that we are small companies. Our turnover may be 5 to 7 crores, 30 crores. Most of it, I think, people are in 20 to 30 crores. Maybe one or two companies doing 100 to 150 crores. So, this group of people, how does it affect? Many people, many companies may have just one accountant or two people doing the accounts and entry and everything. How do we, you know, what should we do so that we take advantage of this uh, taxation laws and we don't get into trouble? Like Modi ji said, he's a practical Gujarati um, person as our chief, um, prime minister. He said, we all know there is kacha bill and pakka bill. And this is the end of it. Now, what does that, what, what did PM imply by saying that, you know, your kacha bill regime is going to end? So this is what we want to listen to you. Now, let me introduce Mr. Mathivanan. He is a senior partner in uh, Lakshmi Kumar Nandi student. 
Lakshmi Kumar and Ishwarni is a very respected name in indirect taxation. If I am not describing something properly, you can correct me later. He is also involved in the field of training related to service tax, VAT, GST, etc. Et so part of his business is going to end because there are only GST now. Send VAT credit rules and IT related matters. So it is not only indirect, you uh, deal in direct taxation also. He constantly delivers lectures in various industry forums and advises companies on transi trans transitional provisions for successful implementation of GST. He is also instrumental in providing solutions for tax optimization by redesigning supply chains. This also we want to know, you know how to optimize uh, input tax. Major in interest to us. Before joining Lakshmi Kumar and Sridharan in 2002, Mr. Madhivanan worked as a director in the of uh, office of CAG. During his tenure, he has uh, audited accounts of United Nations headquarters. So he j just not know one side of it, he knows both sides of it. The government, he has, uh, he has been part of the government and he has been part of the private enterprise also. He has got a bachelor's degree from Delhi University and postgraduate uh, in agricultural economics. So this is uh, the profile of uh, Mr. Madhivanan. Um, we have been dealing with uh, his company for some time and uh, we are extremely happy that uh, uh, they have been of great help to us. He is an actual practitioner. We didn't want to get somebody from a consultancy who will give bookish knowledge. We wanted to get an actual practitioner who will advise us, Mr. Madhivanan. 